have to say, I was really excited for Cataclysm when it was announced. I remember I kept preparing for it in all of its excitement and glory, and it was finally here. Now this is the third expansion Blizzard has released for their hit game World of Warcraft. The story behind this expansion is pretty dark and exciting. Deathwing unleashes his power in Azeroth and everything changes. Literally, everything. When the patch to update finally came for this, I remember being on my character in Orgrimmar and nothing being the same. Certain things were destroyed and others were just missing. It's a fun little twist to everything this expansion has to offer. And all will burn beneath the shadow of my wings. Starting in Decada, you're generally a level 80 character. There are new areas in this expansion that are very interesting. You have the lower leveling areas, such as Vashir. This is an underwater area, and I was very pleased to start out here when questing on my journey to be level 85. You can also go to another questing area when leveling from 80 to 82. This one's called Mount Hyjal, not to be confused with the BC raid. And as you level to like 84-ish, you can enter what was my favorite in all the questing zones, Oldham. See, Oldham gives you that ancient Egypt vibe, just perfectly. The creatures, quest lines, and general flow of the zone is a really good time. One of the best quest lines, and I suggest every person leveling their character do, is the Harrison Jones quest line. A lot of it is basically a parody on Indiana Jones, hence the name. Get it? Harrison Ford, Indiana, Jones, you get the point. Also, this area allows you to get one of the new mounts that are available in this expansion. Everyone loves new items and expansions. That's half the reason for buying them, right? For the new content. Well, in Oldham, you can actually get a camel, and it's probably the most amusing of any mount because they're straight goofy looking. Thank you, Blizzard, for amusing me yet again. Now, in any expansion, you're usually given a new class or race. Well, in this one, the Horde and Alliance get a little bit of awesome. The Alliance get the Worgens, who are part wolf, part people, and you may recognize these creatures from areas such as Shadowfang Keep when you were first leveling your character. The Alliance control these, and what do the Almighty Horde get? Goblins! Goblins are probably one of the funniest looking and talking out of any of the races in this game. Honestly, turn your sound up when you can play as one. It's like an episode of the Jersey Shore, just the way that their voices are made. Yet goblins are also awesome and have a natural love for gold. And yet again, each of these races are given their own unique starting zones and are actually easy to level now. That's one thing that Blizzard really nailed with Cataclysm. Leveling changed. Before Cataclysm, even in Wrath of the Lich King, leveling took way too long. Now with more experience from quests and the new grouping system for dungeons, you can level a character in no time. <laughs> Now, Cataclysm has both its ups and downs. In its initial release, it sold 4.7 million in its first month, but as of today, Blizzard has lost around 600,000 subscribers. They claim, though, that they're planning on developing more new content in order to keep those subscribed satisfied. When patch 4.3 is released, it will include for you five new dungeons to help you for when the Deathwing raid comes out. So look out for the future if you're a current player, and get yourself to 85 quick if you already aren't. And if you haven't even played yet, try it. You can still play for free until level 20. And if you like it, maybe you'll be fighting Deathwing soon enough.